Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can enhance your bar chart with the help of the reference lines. So as you know or aware about uh, most of the time within the bar chart, apart from showing the bars, we also want to show the target. For example, here I am showing the crimes in India and it is showing it at various percentage levels about what are the crimes percentage in different categories. And here are the selections that I have for different cities where I can select any of the city and get the output based on that. But let's say we have at an India level that uh, or something like central has dictated that crime in any of the city should not be more than 30%. Then what would you do? Well, the easy answer is or probably you are aware that adding a reference line. So let's add it. So right click on the chart go into the properties, add a reference line and let's say target and maybe it's 30%. So 0.3 because your values are in percent. So weight maybe two points. If you want to increase or decrease, we can increase decrease, but two is good. Color is red is fine. What kind of style we want? I think that should be also fine. You have other options, but let's look at later. Click OK. And okay, so now you have at 30%, you have the line, you can select any state and it will show you the information about it. All right, so that's easy. I mean, you don't, you're not doing really anything very special about it and probably you are already aware that uh, that's how you can add the reference lines. But let's say what happens is uh, you want the based on the state the targets are changing now it is more of a state-wise approach and you have just one dashboard and uh, central has just dictated that each state need to maintain their targets so for that what you can do is you can go into the properties again within the presentation tab select the target which you created earlier and hit edit and within the edit as you can see it is expressions so instead of uh, declaring a target line as a fixed percentage or fixed number what you can do is you can use the if statement if with the help of so the question arises how you will get the state information well for that you can get get field selections function and within that specify state and union territories question equals to uh, maybe let's say for Andaman Nicobar, it is 20% and for rest of the state, it is 30%. So Andaman, A-N-D-A-M-A-N, Andaman and Nicobar, and what you get is 0.2, 20%, otherwise 0.3. All right. If you have, let's say, any other state, Andhra Pradesh has to be 40%, uh, then you can put a if statement over here and keep on adding the percentages. So let's do it right now for point 0.2 and point 0.3 and see its impact. Click OK. All right. OK. OK. So once I select Andaman and Nicobar, the target is at coming 20%. So you can see the greed and money percentage is far, far beyond that. And that's a matter of concern. But other tools are well, very much well in control. Well, when I go into Andhra Pradesh, the target is changing now to 30%. And you can see fraud, illegal gain, or even harassment are the one which are the highest over here, there, but rest of them are well in control. So these targets uh, dynamically gets decided based on the if condition that you are providing. And that's how you can very easily go and enhance your bar chart, which as per the business needs, which keeps changing, you can add multiple conditions and add to it. But the problem is that what would you do in that in such a case where you have these so many state. So currently, I think there are, if I'm not wrong, 36, somewhere around that states, 36 or 38 uh, values that you have, have it over here uh, for the states. And for all the 36 values, will you going to write the if statement or you have any other efficient solution which you can give it to your uh, this bar chart to a reference line where let's say for all the states we have different targets and uh, we want to specify in a in a statement well that's a question you need to really explore because uh, 
right now I'm not giving the answer and just helping you to brainstorm a little bit and put the answer in a comment section. So I will be really glad to see the right answer and maybe in a later videos, I will share my answer with you. So hoping to get more comments guys and let's see what your creativity says.